out-of-state investors, if you are looking to flip properties in cheaper locations than where you're from, you are watching the right show. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I am your host, James Wise, and this is the show where I work with investors, local, out of state, out of the country, just like you. It don't matter to me where you live. I am able to help you through my company, Holton Wise. We are a licensed real estate broker, general contractor, property manager, and of course, at the core of it all, we are real estate investors. We run one of the largest scattered site rental property portfolios of the Cleveland market. We do flips, the whole nine, right? And we help investors like you guys come to this market and do deals, right? My man that I'm working for today, guy by the name of Aaron. Aaron, you're out there in Utah, and the price points that you're dealing with in your home market are much more expensive than they, what they are out here in Cleveland. And what you're hoping to do is flip some houses, brother. And uh, you like a little suburb called Parma, okay? And you're interested in doing some flips in Parma. Now, just uh, for the record, folks, it's it's a very... Uh, unrealistic expectation to think you can come out here and, and you're going to be doing like 50 to 100 flips a month, making 50 to 100K per flip, right? That's not uh, a reasonable expectation. I just want to get that out there right now. Uh, the flipping game is very competitive, okay? It's very competitive. The margins uh, are getting smaller by the day, uh, but money can be made if you're willing to do the due diligence and put in the necessary effort uh, of putting offer after offer after offer and play the numbers game because that's what this is, folks. This is a numbers game. You have to put offers on a lot of properties. And this property is no different. I think this one is going to fly. This is a nice property in the Parma area, which could be the perfect first flip for you if we can get the offer accepted. I actually looked at this for another client a ways back. Uh, we were going to be doing some flips. At that time, uh, her offer was not accepted by the sellers, and it went off the market uh, with another, you know, somebody else must have put a higher bid or a better bid than hers, but it just came back on the market. So I want you to look at that footage now. 5110 Montauk Avenue, Parma, Ohio, 44134, listed at 99.9, it's been on the market for three weeks, right? As far as the photos, we only got three because this is tenant-occupied. And the fact that this house is tenant-occupied, Lisa, that is the, the core to our house flipping strategy, okay? You see just a normal little uh, three-bedroom house in Parma, right? Just It's very dated, okay? Here is the situation. Here's what we have. Here's what we know. We have a month-to-month -month tenant in this particular property. The listing agent didn't even bother to mention how much the tenant is paying in rent. That's fine, though. That doesn't matter because what we do know is we got some solid bones on this bad boy. Needs minor TLC, oak kitchen cabinets, newer vinyl replacement windows, glass block windows, furnace is five years old, hot water tank four years old, breaker boxes, roof five years old, 2.5 aluminum sided car garage okay so what all that means lisa is the bones are good on this particular house right and that's that's the crux of of this strategy what i'm targeting for you is quick simple cosmetic flips in parma why do i want to target parma right because parma is like the the first entry level suburb in our market in the cleveland market where you get a, just a ton of owner-occupied buyers. And this particular area, it's like one of the cheaper suburbs where the prices are almost exclusively driven by owner-occupied buyers, right? So the fact that this particular property has a tenant in it is killing its value. Like, it's listed at $99.9 today because there's a tenant in there. You could literally not touch the house. And if the tenant were to move out tomorrow, you could probably sell the house tomorrow for like maybe one hundred fifteen, almost one hundred twenty thousand dollars without touching it. Right? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all fifty states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. The tenant is 
killing the value, right? Because the properties are priced in this particular suburb to where it doesn't make sense for rental investors to buy these properties. The price to rent ratios don't make sense, right? That's why those guys are focusing on the C class. And your owner occupants, well, they're not interested in this particular one because there's a fucking person in it, right? It makes no goddamn sense to have there be a tenant in it. And that's why I target it for you. That's why it's perfect, right? Because you could purchase this asset. Holton Wise, we will manage the asset, manage the tenant, work the tenant out. And then when the tenant is removed, we'll do the renovation, right? So what I'd like to do is if you look at the chart here, you see my planned renovation, $20,500. We already know all of our big ticket items are taken care of, right? So it's all cosmetics. All we need to do, paint and patch any of the walls, refinish those hardwoods, update the kitchen and the bath. Just a very simple $20,500 reno. Super quick, simple, easy. So with the fact that the tenant's already in there, I think, uh, you know, they, they, who are they trying to sell this to, right? Real estate investors, they, again, they don't like it. Owner-occupied people don't like it because of that, Lisa. I think we can come in with a cash offer, pick it up for 90 You go ahead and do that $20,500 reno, and then after the fact, I will go ahead and sell this for you to owner-occupants for $145,000. The commission I'll take on that is $10,150. You'll also pay $1,450 in closing costs. That leaves you with a cool profit of $23,000, right? Technically $22,900 per my chart, right? And it's 100% passive. You don't have to do anything, Lisa, other than buy the house. And, of course, continue due diligence, right? You'll want to do a general home inspection to make sure we don't have any issues. It doesn't appear we're going to, but we got to trust but verify. So we'll get a general home inspector to make sure we don't have any, like, structural issues or things of that nature because that would, of course, uh, screw up the deal, screw up the numbers, right? But it's going to be a very simple, easy process, and you'll probably make a little bit of rental income on the way, right? Maybe it takes us uh, several months to get that tenant out. So whatever they're paying, I'm guessing it's somewhere between like 800 and 1,000. You'll just collect that rent while we slowly work that tenant out, and then boom, we'll get in there, do the renovation. We'll probably be able to put this thing on the market in the summer months and uh, get you paid. It's a very simple, easy process. My team, we will handle the construction. Every, we'll even handle the insurance for it. All right, Aaron, so let me know your thoughts uh, as far as price points and everything, I still feel like that's the appropriate bidding strategy. And we might fare better this time around because that's one of the best times to get a seller to take your offer, right? Sellers, uh, when they go under contract, especially like newer sellers or sellers who are not that experienced in the game, you know, they do, uh, they go under contract and they think like, yeah, I sold my property. No, 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 going under contract is just going under contract. A lot of deals fall apart, okay? But the cool thing is, seller, they feel like they're home free, dude. They feel like, oh, I already got the money. They're basically count. They're basically spending the money, okay? They're already spending the money. And then, boom, at the last second, the rug's pulled out from under them. The deal falls apart. And now they're back to square one. They need a new buyer, right? So then, ergo, there come me and you, Aaron. We come in. We're investors. Our offer's a little low. Yeah, but you know what? Hey, we're ready to close, man. We're ready to close. Uh, so you might get a seller who's more apt to take a lower offer this time around than originally. So let me know what you'd like to do, brother. And anybody else who's out there that's watching the show, you want to work with me in the same way Aaron is, just send my team an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. My team will call you, walk you through the process. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.